So here we are with another tutorial and this time I want to talk a little bit about anamorphic uh, shooting. So anamorphic shooting is uh, can be done in uh, several ways. In this case I uh, had an anamorphic attachment which could be like a, a projector scope which were used in the past to de-squeeze footage uh, which was shot anamorphically on a projector. So such a lens in this case has a squeeze factor of 1.5. So it squeezes the image by a factor of 1.5 times. And that's a lot of fun. Why? Okay, I take my calculator here and I show you a slate file. So in this case, as you see, the width of the shot was 6016 and the height was 3984. So if we divide those numbers, so let's quickly Dial them in. So this is around 1.5. So we, we call this the open gate of the Mavo LF. So if you have an anamorphic attachment, in this uh, case a 1.5 times anamorphic attachment, you have to uh, yeah, multiply the 1.5 aspect ratio from the sensor of the Mavo LF with 1.5. So let's do that. You get around 2.25. Uh, 2.25 so is very close to the popular 2.4 aspect ratio. So yeah, um, here we have it. We shot this footage at 6K in uh, OpenGate and um, let's import it. So this is Premiere Pro. I don't color grade in Premiere Pro, but I still use it a lot. Uh, just for normal editing and then I use like uh, XMLs and this kind of stuff to uh, to get it into uh, Resolve. As you know you can just drag and drop this in the sequence uh, button here. So but that uh, doesn't desqueeze the image. So this is how um, the lens was seeing it. To get a normal image we have to desqueeze this uh, image. So next up is uh, how to desqueeze this uh, this image into a normal looking image. So we know that it was uh, done with an anamorphic lens with a squeeze factor of 1.5. So right click sequence settings. In this one case we don't want to have this 2.25 aspect ratio but we want to have the 2.39 or 2.4 aspect ratio. And also we don't want to have this whole 6k uh, fucking resolution because our screen is not even 4k. So we know that 4k is around 4096 pixels horizontally. So we just simply divide that by 2.4. All right, I would say 1706. That's cool. So we fill this in in the vertical resolution. Do it like this. We fill in frame size 4096 and we said, now we just click OK. So this is our 2.4 canvas. So let's now import again. So we put it in our, it will ask us like change sequence settings. No, keep existing setting settings. So there are different ways. We can now just select them all and we can ask um, scale to frame size. Uh, still not a de-squeezed image. So of course we could like go into our effect controls, scale it up, but this is annoying also because we just changed a lot of par parameters here because of the scaling etc so we are we shouldn't do this okay i prefer in this case to right click select all the footage and then go to modify interpreted footage um pixel aspect ratio conform to so now actually we're gonna trend we're gonna stretch the pixels by 1.5 so let's do so Perfect. So as I told before, uh, we're going to crop in a little bit on this footage. Uh, so these uh, should uh, fit fine. So we cropped a little bit vertically. Normally if you shoot uh, anamorphic on like those odd sensor sizes like uh, normal 60x9 sensors and you shoot anamorphic you mostly gain the horizontal uh, panning. But most of the time that's not an issue because um, those compositions are more uh, more fragile in terms of uh, vertical uh, compo compositing. You can reframe a little bit vertically. So I love that. So let's put a little on there. Are you lost C to Rec 709? So you can play a little bit with it. Oh, there's still a little bit of a black line here. Oh, went too far with it. 
I would never use Premiere Pro for uh, or color grading. It's just lacking uh, a lot of stuff. Also, it looks very video-ish, even the exposure uh, control. So here, same same story again. Can of course we can copy paste the settings from this one. Copy paste to this one, so we don't have to. Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, I shut everything a little bit underexposed with my ETT outlets, so to crank it a little bit up. Cool, cool images. I would say talented uh, DOP I am. Um, wow, what's this? Fuck. Okay. Wow. All right, that's it. Ciao. Thank mm -hmm. you.